Welcome to the 12th episode of the Wish You Were Beer podcast. My name is Martin Murphy. This is Mike Pitzers. We are two weird guys who like weird beers, and we yeah. like talking about them, too. I um, love talking about them. So tonight we have a make-your-own six-pack of a bunch of different beers, and we're going to review them for you and talk about some other stuff. Yeah. Uh, so let's get right to it. Oh, well, what did you pick up today, Oh, Martin? sorry. I picked up the beer. Oh, and I picked up yep. the snack. I'm excited about what's in here. Oh, I'm excited about everything. So, <laughs> Okay. Let's just hop right in. Yeah. I will read it. Give me one second. Okay. I think this is one I did not pick up. All right. Knee Deep Brewing Company is a uh, fine craft beers. Uh, Tahoe Deep is a Imperial IPA. Good Lord. Yeah. Um, 8.5% alcohol by volume. That's not bad. Um, so it's from not going to be. Auburn, California. <laughs> That's like that other beer we had that we thought was Auburn, <laughs> Canada. Canada. <laughs> uh, and there's no description. Okay. So let's hop into it. So I picked up the beer last night. And uh, I was putting the things on the counter, and um, the uh, the guy there. Oh, I can't. I don't know his name. I feel so bad. Crap. I I think I learned it the other day, and I. Oh yeah. Uh, but I, he was busting my balls about what I was putting on the counter. It was a lot of sweet stuff. So he said, "Oh, man, you got a lot of sweet stuff here." And I said, <laughs> "All right, pick me out two IPAs," and he did. All this right. is one of them. Cool. Oh God, it looks like soda. Oh, yeah, it does. It looks really carbonated. It does. Um, Crap, because they put out, like, a Facebook Live thing, mm -hmm. and she said his name a couple of times on it. Oh. I love how we know their dog's name, but we don't know his name. Well, the dog's name is Barley. Yeah, that's <laughs> I mean, yeah. all right. Beer number one. Beer number one for our 12th episode. Ooh, that's actually very good. It's bitter. Wow, yeah. It gets more bitter the longer it sits, but yeah. I was about to say, I actually smell? think I think that's very good. The smell is a lot better than yeah. Hmm. Oh, I'd also like Most to mention uh, between the last episode and this episode, we got our first two comments yeah. on videos. Yeah, <laughs> I think we had like, I think we had like one on one episode that was like our first one that was just some yeah. random comment, but. Um, yeah, we got two comments, but none, mm -hmm. none of them were questions. So. Right. <laughs> yeah. But still, it's exciting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Our first two viewers that mm -hmm. are not people we know. Yeah. So it's pretty great. Right. Um, I like this a lot. It's like fruity. Yeah. Right on the front with like... Oh, yeah. The front is just like really fruity. It doesn't taste like an IPA at yeah. all. Yeah. And then but... like it just kicks you with bitterness, but not like mm -hmm. a whole lot. No, and it doesn't. I'm it sits, it. but it's not like a. It doesn't. It sits kind of mellow. It doesn't sit yeah. like harsh. Yeah, it's not like some IPAs. I I can imagine them just like like acid on my taste buds, yeah. and they're just just like right. burning away with that hoppiness. Mm -hmm. But this one, no, it, it's it's bitter and it's hoppy, but it just sits there. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. Okay, so I have a somewhat of a topic mm -hmm. that I'm sure we'll be able to talk about a little bit because it's sort of a ranty topic. Oh, best <laughs> ones. Um, yeah, my first couple of topics were pretty ranty, so mm -hmm. we're going back to that. Um, so I went out to Buffalo to visit my girlfriend, Hannah, um, which is always a good time, except mm -hmm. we went shopping, and I was getting real tired of the people. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. We went to like a coffee shop and there was these two ladies with two kids. Um, like one was holding what kid with the stroller behind her. Mm -hmm. um, and the other one was just kind of like off to the side with like a bigger kid. Um, fat baby? No, not like a fat baby, but oh. just like a, <laughs> not, An older? Not, yeah, a slightly, <laughs> a slightly older kid. Um, and this guy was coming up, and we were sitting in line, but the the stro like the stroller was sitting like perfectly where it was like mm -hmm. behind her, and then there was like a seat there, so like okay. he couldn't get by. Yeah. Um, and she was like ordering something. She looked and saw the person walking towards her, and even said hi to him. And the guy was like, "Hey, I, I'm. Can I squeeze by here?" And she just turned and kept talking. <laughs> so like the guy was standing there with me and hannah there i was like 
I don't know what to do, man. <laughs> like, yeah. You want to like, like, pull, take I wanna, my hand. I wanna, like, and... Well, I want to like move the stroller so that way he can get through. Yeah. But like, it was like, it was like me, stroller, him. Mm. So like, we were on the same side of the stroller and I, okay. I just like, there was nothing I, I like, and the guy was like, just laughing. Cause it was like, it was just one of those moments. And she turned around again. He was like, can I get through here, please? And she was like, oh yeah, sorry. And she like moved like the stroller, like an okay. inch. <laughs> I hate I hate people so much. <laughs> Me too. Especially has it ever happened to you at OCC? Like that like oh, something yeah. like that. Oh yeah. So it must have been a week or two ago that I was walking up you know the stairs in Whitney that go to the second floor. Yep. Uh right in front of the bookstore. Mm-hmm. I I walked up those stairs and uh went to the classroom hallways and there's the like there's like that glass window cla- smart classroom kind mm-hmm. of thing and uh but th- those doors to that classroom are huge mm-hmm. when they open those doors they come like halfway out into the hallway right and a class must have just been getting out and this group of guys was standing right in the middle of the hallway and the door was oh, no. open so like you could not get by whatsoever right and there was this little tiny space between a guy or like a guy's backpack and the door mm-hmm. it must have been like this. Yeah. And I was like, like this. <laughs> and I was like, all right, that's that's my spot. That's like where I'm going to yeah, get through. And so like squeeze through there. I walk up to the, the space and him and I like say sort of pissed off because just looking at this, it yeah. pissed me off. Like just right away, I'm like, I could see what was going to happen. And I was just right away. I was pissed off. So I like, I, I like start trying to walk by him and I get ready to like shimmy in and I'm like, excuse me. And nothing. Wow. He's just talking with his buddy. Nothing. Not no acknowledgement whatsoever. Yeah. Like, I just like, I don't like it when people are so, I guess like disrespectful about yeah. the amount of space that they're taking up. Like, like yeah. with the stroller thing where it's like, it. like doesn't even care and it's like this guy's just trying to Mm -hmm. get across and he's sitting there like it was probably like four minutes yeah of this guy just like sitting here now so i say i tell him excuse me no acknowledgement whatsoever didn't even hear me and i said it loud Mm -hmm. like i said it like excuse me yeah i said it in a way that like i'm like not dealing with this bullshit today yeah if it was like if i was having a better day i might have been like excuse me yeah and but i had like no patience for it that day so i i was like excuse me yeah and uh nothing and then so i start shimmying through and like his backpack is touching my chest my backpack is like banging against the door that's right. behind me right and again i say excuse me nothing wow and so i end up just forcing myself through and like i definitely shoved him and i heard him say like he, I heard him like grunt or something. I didn't. He really hear wow. what, what he, yeah. what he said. I, I was also on the phone with Trisha this whole time. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and so I, I said excuse me twice, mm-hmm. and which ended up in me basically having to shove my body, yeah. through this guy in the door, and I hear him grunt and say whatever he said, and I'm like, it's your fault. Yeah, it's your you fault. You wouldn't just like scooch in a little bit. Yeah. Like, I always feel awkward in, like, those kind of situations where it's, like, am I, I feel like I'm taking up a lot of space, and it's, like, mm-hmm. I just kind of, like, sit back and... I know, like, I am always so aware of that, yeah. of that stuff. Yeah. Like, where was it? I don't remember where it was, but I was walking side by side with Trish in some kind of hallway thing, corridor thing, mm-hmm. and we stopped really quickly somewhere, and I could, like, it was in, like, an intersection yeah of hallways and we just stopped in the middle there and immediately i was like oh wait no we got let's move on yeah let's just go let's just go over here like we stood there for like a second before i yeah i was like right we gotta get out of here yeah yeah sorry about that burp we had we had a comment about our burps oh no he said it was all right so oh okay all right we're good said to let the burps go you can't let them you can't let them sit in we'll explode yeah he said we'll explode (laughs) (laughs) um yeah so like it was just like a couple of situations like that where it's like, oh, people yeah. are taking up a ton of space and they just don't care. So it's just like, just being around that aggravates me. Yeah, and I me just too. don't, I don't like being out in like situations like that. Yeah, I don't have the patience for it. Um, I don't, again, I don't remember where this was, but 
Trish and I were somewhere where we spent like all day in a crowded area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wish I could remember where it was. But by the end of the day, we were just like, both of us were like, we have to get out of here. Yeah. Like, I can't be around that many people. Yeah. For, I hate it when for, that, happens. for that long anymore. Right. Like, I like need to get out and I feel like I can't breathe sometimes when <laughs> I'm in a crowd. Oh yeah, definitely. Neither can she. So luckily both of us, after like too long of it, both of us are like, we need to leave. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm the it. same way. All right. Well, we will continue my topic yep. after beer number two. Welcome back to Wish You Were Beer Podcast, and we're going to dive into beer number two and finish off my topic. Mm -hmm. There you are, sir. All right. Ooh, really excited about this one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did you get a look at this one? Yeah, okay. a little bit. Uh, this is the Embark Craft Cider Works Apple Pie Cider. Um, let's see. 5.2% alcohol volume. That's kind of high for a cider, I think. Um, am I just... I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, from Williamson, New York. Sweet. Uh, pretty long um, description here. As American as apple pie is what we are replicating with this cider, we are using a blend of American heirloom apples and apple pie spices to, cr to create a semi-sweet cider using the best apples of the fall harvest. Cheers to Americana. Um, oh, this is a little blurb on the brewer. Embark Craft Cider Works handcrafts hard cider using apples grown on site at Lagener Farms, a family farm since 1909. Mm -hmm. Because we are farmers first and foremost, we focus on the quality of the apples we grow and the unique attributes of each variety to craft ciders with distinct flavor profiles from within a range from dry to sweet. Our tap room on location in Williamson, New York, offers samples of our craft ciders as well as bottle sales. Mm. That's neat. Mm hmm I wonder where that is. Do you know where that is? No. Me neither. You and I should try to find like a... I'm going to guess it's in the southern tier somewhere. We should find like a week or something where we can just like Ooh, travel around New York. some vacation. And hit like all the breweries in New York. Yeah. That is like really light. Yeah. This looks like water. Oh, I would totally take a week off work. Oh, I got one. So. Yeah, whatever. All right, apple pie cider. Yep. It's like, so it's not, it's, it's, it's got more like cinnamon than like an apple cider yeah. would, which would, which makes it taste more like an apple pie type filling. Yeah. I like it. I do like it. I would drink this more. Mm. It's just, I'm, I'm not getting apple pie. Right. I'm getting apple, for sure. I'm getting the apple and cinnamon. That's yeah, that's what I'm getting. Not apple pie. Yeah. That, like that pumpkin pie, that creamy mm -hmm. pumpkin pie beer we yeah. had. I was expecting like that from this. And it's we just not. smell it. It smells really good. Ooh, it does. So it's very good. It is very good. It's very good if you uh, I could, like, forget that it's supposed to be like apple pie. Yeah, it's it's so, more it is more like an apple. Yeah, cider. just like straight apple. Yeah, yeah. I could chug this though. Like it's just so light. It's it's yeah, literally like drink. Like look at the color of it. It's it's <laughs> yeah. It's you like can nothing. just see like right through it. Yeah. It's um yeah. I I, I literally could just chug one of these and be fine. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm just gonna go through that really fast. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, I think that's uh. Well, f one thing is is that, um, sometimes when you get a cider like this, they're really dry. Yeah. And I do like that it's not super dry. Yeah. Actually, this, this is so sweet. Like I might even. I wouldn't even count it as like a. I wouldn't count it, it as like it, a sweet, sweet dry type thing. I would put it way towards sweet. Like yeah, not even close I feel to like being I've dry. even almost had wines that tastes like this yeah i don't know well if there's a wine that tastes like this you let me know <laughs> okay oh um, hannah has this uh apple cider <coughs> wine that she bought somewhere that came yeah. with like this spice thing and you're supposed to dump it in a crock pot and put the spice in with it and let it heat up and drink it like hot uh, it we sounds gotta try really that. good 
It sounds really good. Oh my god! Yeah, that sounds very good. So I'm gonna find out where she got that mm-hmm. and get some of that because I don't like wine, but I I I would love. To I would try, try that. that. Oh like yeah, like spiced wine. Yeah, like that. Like Oof. a spiced wine that's heated up. That would and, be awesome. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Well, we're gonna dive into the rest of my segment, mm-hmm. which is kind of uh, I got like a little bit of a funny story about it, and okay. we'll start it with uh, we went to a bookstore. Mm-hmm. Um, Hannah still this I, week, this last weekend. Yeah, this last okay. weekend we went to a bookstore. Uh, while we were out shopping. Mm-hmm. Um, and I found, well, I looked around to see if they had the second book of this, oh, yeah. which is called uh, Wise Man's Fear. Um, and they did, but they only had the soft cover of it. And mm-hmm. I, like, I like having the hard cover. And it was, yeah. like, tiny. Um, tiny and thick. So um, <laughs> so I just kind of left that. <laughs> um, but we were there, and, <laughs> and this guy was... This guy had his daughter around, and the daughter had, like, a bicycle in the store for some reason, but she was just kind of, like, towards the front and just hanging out. But the guy was talking to, like, another person in the shop, and his daughter was getting a little fed up with him Mm -hmm. talking to somebody. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So Hannah and I were sitting there, (laughs) and we hear, like, Dad, I am tired of your talking. Can we go? (laughs) So how old would you say this girl is? I would probably put her at, like, maybe three or four. Okay. Like, pretty young. Yeah. Absolutely, like, the Mm -hmm. funniest thing that, I mean, like, she was doing it for a while, too, Mm -hmm. like, and everything she said was something along the lines of, I'm tired of your talking, and I want to go. I was like, I wish I could be that blunt with people. That's so funny. So, like, later on, when Hannah was looking at stuff, I went up to her, and I went, Hannah, I'm really tired of your looking. Can we go? (laughs) (laughs) I have a similar story. Uh, about when I was little and when my older sister was little. So we had gone to our parents' friend's house for like dinner, I guess. It was, I was so young. I don't exactly remember the circumstances. They had, they had children close to our age too. So I, I, I think they just had us over for dinner. But at the end of the night, when we're getting ready to leave, me and my older sister go out to the car and we were just sitting in the car ready to leave. And, um, my parents are still inside talking for a while, even though we, we were supposed to be leaving. Mm-hmm. And my sister starts beeping the horn <laughs> in the car. She just like beeps it once. A few minutes later, beeps it twice. <laughs> and then we go back That's inside. Awesome. And my friend's, or my dad's uh, friend, he... He was just like, oh, I wonder what all that honking was. <laughs> but that reminded me of that story. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I just thought that that was like hilarious because this little girl was like being just so blunt. Like, I am tired of your talking. <laughs> it was like the greatest she, thing. Yeah, it sounds like she's like a teenager. That's funny. Right. That's the it, funniest it, Like a teenager when, that when, is actually saying yeah. what she wants to say like right. totally out loud. Yeah, when little kids act not their age i think that's the funniest thing yeah right Mm -hmm. oh god we still have a little more time um yeah any any other funny shopping stories Mm. i once watched somebody actually get like detained at the mall once this was actually a little while ago but like um there was this guy that was walking through the mall i don't know why i'm whispering this i feel like i'm Oh, in some place. Get in trouble, Martin, Martin, there's this guy at the mall. <laughs> um, and I was walking one way. He was walking towards me. And when he was coming towards me, some guy came up behind him like a secret agent. Like, literally, a dude in a suit. Like, I'm not kidding. Oh, my God. Um, and and he went over, and he put the hand on this guy's shoulder, and he, and he said the guy's name. I can't remember what his name was. And the guy just went, shoot. <laughs> I was going to swear. Oh. <laughs> uh, he said, shoot, but shoot. not that. <laughs> and then, and then, the guy just, back and then the guy just, like, whipped out handcuffs and put the handcuffs on the oh dude my and just God. took him out. So he must have, like, known exactly what was going to, like, yeah. what was coming. Yeah. Oh my god. So <laughs> not a shopping story but a like a, a detaining story. Mm. Not not even a detaining story, the opposite, quite the opposite actually, but along the lines. Uh so my uncle used to work at a grocery store when he was younger, when he was like a teenager, mm-hmm. and uh when he would close the when he closed the store, he would have to bring the night's deposit over to the bank. Right. At night. And they asked they had a security guard and so the security guard would walk them walk him over to the bank to deposit and then walk him back. And uh, one night, the security guard mugged him and stole the deposit. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. 
That's crazy. I know. What an idiot. They right? know exactly who he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like your uncle's what like yeah it was the guy who was supposed to take me over there like yeah he's <laughs> our security guard it's bob <laughs> <laughs> it's bob and we know him i just snorted i just <laughs> i've gone i've gone to dinner with this guy <laughs> oh, oh that's God. crazy all right well we will hop into our <laughs> snack accident waiting to happen oh, after yeah. beer number three all right Welcome back to the podcast. Uh, we're going to get into beer number three here and then snack accident waiting to happen. Yeah. Ooh, the breakfast beer. So this can gave Is me a little stout? bit of a laugh because this was the first one I pulled mm. uh, pulled out when you handed me the bag. Oh, yeah. So. Did you see who makes it? Um, oh, McKellar. McKellar, yeah. maker of one of my favorite beers. Uh, the It's a beer geek breakfast. Mm-hmm. Uh, seven point five percent alcohol, stout brewed with coffee. Yeah, that's all it says. So, like, I wonder if it's even a breakfast stout, or if it's just a stout brewed with coffee. Uh, I don't know, San Diego, California. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Not much to say about. Oh my god! Ooh, that's dark. It is black. <laughs> might be I took a lot of that cider I was about to say you had like the majority of oh that oh my cider. god that looks like oil <laughs> it does it looks like dirty oil <laughs> the consistency even too not yeah. just the color yeah hey, that's not bad actually oh yeah you're right alright beer number three alrighty oh my god we're only three beers in I feel like we should be at like five <laughs> Dude, but like I'm just laughing a lot and <laughs> me too I'm just not, I'm not like drunk or anything oh that, that smells, smells really it smells good. like coffee mm-hmm. ooh that is rich I feel like I just took a sip of black coffee yeah that's awesome yeah that is really good that's awesomely rich it's not as thick as you'd think it is. Mm-mm. It's kind of thin, actually. It, it is. It's, it's creamy, like, though. It's like drinking black coffee. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of carbonation. Not like quite like a nitro, but it's creamy. Yeah, it is. It is it's smooth. It's light. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, this is a. It's not bitter a... like black coffee, though. No, it's still. It's 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 still sweet. You know what? It's more like. It's more like. Um, like iced coffee. It's got slight bitterness of like a. It's, yeah. it's like an iced black coffee, like yeah. without cream in it. Right. It's not nearly as bitter. Where it's like slightly watered down a little mm-hmm. bit, but not like. Yeah. Where you're still not getting gross. a good taste. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. I like that a lot. Mm. I wonder how this is going to do with our snack. <clears throat> we'll see. All right. All right. Well, I picked out the snack today, and I feel like Walmart. Yeah. Did they fail you tonight? <clears throat> I feel like Walmart. Was a little off today. Yeah, um, we need we need a uh, branching out bottle shop, but for snacks. Mm. What if there were such a thing as like craft snacks? Mm, that would be good. They were just like really obscure Probably chip flavors and more. stuff. Uh, that would be okay. fun. That would be really fun. Yeah. Um. So I went to Walmart and there wasn't much, so I grabbed this. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a a buff. It's it's Lay's Pringles, pretty much. Yeah. Um, buffalo wings with ranch. Okay. So, it sounds like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're screwed. <laughs> no, you got it. Sounds you're like it's going to be a good time. I think it's going to be good. Like, it's definitely yeah. going to be good. I, I just hoping to pick out, like, both the flavors of, like, mm-hmm. buffalo wing and ranch. I think we will. I feel like buffalo, buffalo like, hot flavor and ranch are two things that are easily... Yeah, so I'm hoping this won't be, like, too hot. Because of the ranch. Like, like I'm hoping the ranch will dumb down the heat a little bit. Yeah. That's really good. I got the ranch flavor, like, right off the bat. Like, I the got first the thing I got. flavor off the bat. Really? Yeah. I'm, like, just getting the buffalo flavor. Oh, and a little bit of heat in back. Tiny bit. Mm. Like, in the throat a little bit. All right, you know what I got? I got them both together. You remember the infamous 
firecracker ramp mm. from West Genesee <laughs> High School. Yes. How yes. kids would run to the cafeteria when oh, they were yeah. serving that. Oh, yeah. You know that sauce that they served with it, which was really just hot sauce and ranch mixed together? Mm hmm. I'm getting that sauce. Honestly, I'm mainly getting the ranch, like, right off the bat. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the tanginess, tanginess of the ranch, but also the heat of the buffalo sauce. Yeah. Right at the same time, like, there's no differentiating whatsoever. Mine's one me. right after another for me. Okay. Like, I'm getting tanginess and then immediate heat right after. Mmm. I love them. I think they're awesome. Yeah. 10 out of 10 on the snack student scale. Yep, I agree. That's what we should have. We should have like a snack student scale. Mm. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <clears throat> we can have points. How healthy is it? <laughs> Minus a point if it's yeah, not healthy. <laughs> All right. Mm. Nice job. Yeah, very good. I'll just keep these right here for right now. Sure. Go into the beer after. Mm. That's not going to pair well. <laughs> We're going to try it anyways. Okay. Huh. Hang on. It tasted more boozy. Yeah. And then I get Actually, coffee towards the end. Bad. It honestly just tastes more boozy to me. Yeah, it's sweeter. Mm -hmm. hmm. Like rum. Yeah. It tastes like rum after that. That's weird. How did this taste like rum after that? I don't know. It's so weird. Hmm. Still good. Yeah. So, uh, oh, well, we have time. So I have a couple of things that would be just fun to... Sure. So I was thinking for our Christmas special... Whenever we do that, I don't care if we record it on Monday or Tuesday. Um, if we record it Christmas night, if you're here, if I'm here, um, Hannah could be here. Mm -hmm. Just hang out. She says she wants to see it in person. Um, if not, whatever. So do you mean Christmas Eve? Christmas night is Monday. Okay. So the night of Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, I can probably do that. I'll be, be I'll be here, I think. I don't know. Trish and I don't have plans yet. So if I'll be here, if I'm here, then yeah, we can do like a and I was Friends thinking Christmas. We'll buy like five beers and then mm -hmm. we'll do an eggnog and rum section. Sure. We could record it and even like <clears throat> we could use like the area mic and yeah, have it on the couch upstairs or in my basement or something like yeah. just something relaxed and yeah, a fun little low production. Yeah, maybe. A fun little Christmas special with the uh, with the ladies. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, yeah. All right, it'll be a good time. So look forward to that. Mm -hmm. Um, there was another thing that I was these thinking. Are, these got really hot really quick. Yes, I like that though. Mm -hmm. Oh, those uh, <laughs> those really hot Doritos things from the dynam the Dynamitos. Mm. Of course, the chili I, and lime. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I ate them. I couldn't. Oh, of I course. couldn't help myself. Were they Those hot? were really hot. Yeah. I I'm could maybe surprised. have like four or five of them, them before, before I needed like, a Like I think I've had them before. Okay. And they're, they're, I remember them being really, they were really hot. really hot. Really hot. Yeah. Before I knew it, I'd be like <laughs> in the bathroom, like have, running my tongue under the sink and stuff. Like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was hot. I like spicy stuff. All right. Well, we will jump into our new segment of the book. Mm -hmm. Which we have a ton to talk about with the book. So, oh, yeah. I mean, like, maybe we might even go into a second segment because we've got... Yeah, like, we probably can. We we have almost 20 chapters to talk about. Yeah. So, um, if if we can't fit it in one segment, we'll just keep going and yeah, go into another fair. one. So, all right. Well, we'll be back with our next segment, the uh, fantasy segment. Ooh, welcome back to the fourth beer and our fantasy topic about the name of the wind. Because that's pretty much all we're going to talk about. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we're probably, it'll probably cross two segments. Yeah. I'm sure. Which is. <clears throat> we're going bottle. Ooh, the I think that's the only bottle tonight. It is. 
Oh. <laughs> did you not see this before? I did not. It's not the one we've had before either. Right, right. It's, a, it's a different one. Right. Uh, did I do the last one? Maybe. Yes. I don't care. Yes. Um, so this is Lazy Magnolia, Mississippi's oldest brewery. Uh, this is the Jeff Stout, the ideal sweet southern stout. Uh, because... It is a sweet potato cream stout. Oh my god! Yeah. Now you and I, you and I have had a sweet potato cream stout before, right? But it was not this one. Uh, so we'll see how they stack up. I don't know if you remember it. I remember. I, it I don't clearly. remember it much. I remember it being like mind blowing. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Oh my god. Um, so that's a four point five percent ABV, brewed and bottled by Lazy Magnolia Brewing Company uh, in Kiln, Mississippi. Hmm. Right. MS is Mississippi. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what else it would we be. We always mess that up. So. Um, we got to learn our state abbreviations. There's no description, so we'll just get right. into it. Here, I'll pop it open over here. Let's hope it doesn't go all over the place like the... Uh... Nope. So it's not very caffeinated. Well, it's creamy, so... Well, oh. oh, wait, no. The nitros do that. Yeah, then it's just the nitros okay. that do it. So if it doesn't do it, then it's not very creamy. That is dark... Is I, is that darker than the last one? Than the breakfast stout? Uh, I, I don't think know. it is. Might be. Oh yeah, there there is no light shining through that at all. Yeah, it's dark. It's, it's it is dark. Oh, I got a tiny bit more than you did. Yeah, but that's okay. Beer number four. Number four. It smells very oh good. Oh my god, it smells weird. Also at a uh, Prison City Brewing Company yesterday, uh-huh. I had um, their poutine. And their French fries um, are sweet potato fries. Oh, so awesome. I have something very recent to compare this to. Mm. Ooh, that's good. Oh, that is like, yeah, it's good. It's okay. really good. Okay. I That was a weird reaction. Oh, sorry. Me. No, I'm just trying to like pick out. The look on your face looked like you didn't like it. It tastes a little like sweet potato fries, like a tiny bit. Yeah, I taste it. I also have the taste of them really close on my mind. It's like sweet potato fries and like a, like almost like a honey. Okay, yeah. Very creamy though. Uh Definitely creamy. Uh, I'm getting... Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting sweet potato and cream. Yeah. And beer. Yeah. Definitely. Very dark lager. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, I like this. I'm very impressed. it's sweet, but not like too candy. sweet. Like not like, yeah, yeah. It's not like a sugar sweet. Not it's like a sweet, the, like the apple um, pie sweet. Right. I mean, it's just like a sweet potato. It's like this earthy kind of sweet. Yeah. It's not like a sugar sweet. It's like a um, cinnamon, cinnamony kind of sweet. I right. Guess. Yeah. It's very hard to explain that kind yeah. of sweet, 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 sweet. <laughs> sweet, sweet <laughs> All right. Well. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Yeah, and, uh, me too. I think we can dive. I, actually, I don't think it's quite as good as the last one we had. No, I think the last one was better. That one was mind blowing, and like I think I. Can I think that one was a little lighter. I this. think so too. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, we'll dive right into mm-hmm. uh, the name of the wind by Patrick yes. Rothfuss. Um, we last left off with Quoth being a beggar. Uh, yeah, oh, he, right. yeah, yeah, and then he was beaten by the guard, and he mm-hmm. had went and. Just gotten shelter for uh, for like the night, um, yep. and now I'm on chapter thirty nine. I think it is mm-hmm. I'm up to chapter thirty nine. So I haven't read thirty nine. Um, where the most recent thing is that uh, well, you know, we'll build up to it. We won't okay. just like spill sure. the most recent. Um, so, anyways, after that, he um, finds somebody. What's his name? Scarpy. Scarpy. Yep. Scarpy. And Scarpy's tells stories. Yep, he's he's this old man who tells stories in an inn. Yes, and uh, so Quoth heals heals up after getting beaten. And remember those two people in the demon masks mm-hmm. because the festival is going on. They give him a good amount of money, and yeah. he retreats back to his place on the roofs mm-hmm. and heals up. He does nothing for a long time. Right, and. Um, then yeah, he starts again going about his business, begging and stuff. And he comes across this inn with this 
man named Scarpy in it who he just he's there every day and he tells stories and mm-hmm. the, the kids gather around him and pay money for right. him to tell stories which pays for his drink and stuff. Yeah. I thought it was kind of yeah. cute. Um, and uh, then quoth here is this rumor that if you ask for a, sco- a story that Scarpy doesn't know he will give you this reward this money reward. And quoth of course is like well, I need money, so... Right. But he also has the story that he needs more information on, and that is the story of... Lonre. Lonre, yep. yeah. Because um, it links to the Chandrian, of course. Yeah. That is his ultimate goal. And uh, so he goes to the inn and asks Scarpy to tell the story of Lonre. Mm-hmm. And uh, Scarpy, without missing a beat, starts the story. Yep. Because he knew it. Yeah. And... Um, uh, the story, of course, makes well. You, I think you can sp- tell the story better than I can. Well, maybe. I mean, like, I don't. I don't think there's much super important about the story other right. than like the end of it, which is um, um, Lanre's lover dies mm-hmm. and he's not able to bring her back. So he goes kind of into like this crazy, yeah, like this sort of like crazy type thing, mm-hmm. and um. He's also extremely powerful. Yes, extremely powerful. Yep. Um, and also, like, proclaims himself as this person named Heliax, mm-hmm. which is apparently the name of the person that killed uh, Quoth's parents. One of the, yeah, one of the people, the man that yeah, was... Yeah, one of the, one of the groups yeah, of... The one, one of the, the leader of the... The Chandrian Group of people, people that, that killed uh, Quoth's right. parents and yep. the entire troop. He's... Like cloaked in shadow, and his face is yeah, like blank, and he has this smile of like a demon, like these sharp teeth and yeah. stuff. So, <clears throat> so Lanre, the man, the like great man who lost his love and then went crazy and became mm-hmm. this bad guy and murdered civilizations. Mm-hmm. Um, at the end of the story, his he was given the name of Heliax or yeah, Heliax. whatever, and. <clears throat> Excuse me. He, of course, um, Quoth, back um, when he discovers that his troop was killed, uh, he hears the people calling this man Heliax. Yeah. And so, of course, when Scarpy gets to that point in the story, story, he's like, I know that name. But and, he couldn't put his finger on it because, right. like, Quoth was, was like, so time. messed up on that, yeah. like, because he just like was total rejection, like, yeah, it was like a repress all, memory. yeah, like, yep. yeah, so like he was like he didn't make that connection until mm-hmm. like, I think later, or, like that day or in the next right. day or something. Yep, but uh, hearing the story from Scarpy motivates him to finally do what he can to leave Tarbine and um, go to the university yeah, and go to the university to learn and uh, learn the name of the wind most importantly yes um so um the book so like there's there's a couple of things that we leave out that yeah there's we didn't know was there's a lot later on so uh Abinthi left him with this book <coughs> that like he had signed and mm-hmm. said like you know good things about him um and that book is what um, Quoth pawns to mm-hmm. somebody um, for two silver talents. Yep. Which is like a, a large amount of money, pretty much. Yeah. Um, Quoth asking for a receipt looking like a beggar. Mm-hmm. The guy mis, like, misjudges him and puts right. down something like yeah, he, he doesn't says, know like, how to he, read or he write. Can't read. Yeah. And he's like, just sign here. And then Quoth like, put DD or something, mm-hmm. um, which pretty much just said like, he voided it, sort yeah. of, um, and said, like, I can put another thing on there that will put you in trouble because you falsified a receipt. <laughs> and then Quoth ended up writing out the receipt and wrote yeah. down that he bought it for two silver jots yeah, or sort of, pennies or something uh, like that. Yeah, he... He undermines it a lot. Yeah. So, like, when he goes back to buy it, he's buying it back for a lot less than what he mm-hmm. sold it for. Um, and, like, the person being flustered and everything like that just signed away on it so um he has the receipt for that and um so he takes his two silver talents and he ditches town with a caravan of people pretty Mm -hmm. much um with a beautiful young girl that quoth kind of uh seems to fall for yeah named denna denna 
Yep. Yes. She he describes her as like the most beautiful girl in the world. Mm-hmm. Um Yeah. And she's traveling with the the caravan as well. She's yes. off to who knows where. Um and Yeah, she does she said she doesn't even know where she's going. She's just yeah. traveling. Yep. Um and they just become friends over the course of the caravan. Mm-hmm. And uh eventually that, that during the caravan is when he picks up a loot for the first time since uh, his father's right. broke. That's yeah. right. And um, apparently played yeah, there's and... there's this guy in the caravan who that they picked up along yeah. the road, and uh, he has this loot with him, and they ask him to play one night, and yeah. he plays, and it's okay. And uh, before he puts his loot away, Quoth asks asks him like, "Oh, can I can I see can I that?" See that? And uh, the guy's like, "Yeah, sure," <laughs> not thinking anything of it. And um, and then Quoth starts tuning the the strings, and the yeah. guy is like, "Whoa! Like you don't want to touch. Don't that. touch that, please." And, and then Quoth just goes ahead and plays yeah, and it, plays like and the most beautiful song in the world. Like yeah. it's nothing. Yeah, <sighs> it's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> um. So they get through all that, and they go, and he gets to the place where the university is. I can't remember the name of the place. <sighs> They don't really say it again after that. They just call it the university. Yeah. So he gets to the university pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, he's in new clothes and everything like that because yep. he bought new clothes and um, with all this money that he has now. Mm-hmm. Um, and so he gets to the university and just kind of skip ahead to that point, I guess. Um, and yeah. he goes and tries to get into the... Uh, the archives. The archives. And Which are they, the, this... It's the this, library, pretty much, with all yeah, the books. Yeah, but it holds, like, all all the books in the world mm-hmm. and has every book ever written. And, uh, of course, his he has a love of books and learning and stuff. And so... Yeah. So he wants to get in there. But mm-hmm. the person running the counter pretty much says that you have to go and yeah. um, go to admissions first. Yeah, you can't just walk in. You have to be a yeah. student yeah. to get in there. Um, so Quoth goes to admissions and goes through their little trials and tribulations and answers pretty much everything totally correct. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of small ones that they threw curveballs at him that were extra hard yeah, because well, he was because doing really, really well. He's wicked smart and he knows all this stuff already because right. of Ben teaching him along the road and um, and partly because he uh, spies on some of the other students' yeah. admissions. So. Yeah. But yeah, for the most part, he, he impresses them and... Um, he specifically asks for tuition free mm-hmm. with a minus. So like he wants yes. money for attending the to the school. Right, because we know he doesn't have any money. So imagine right. he, trying he, to go to college without any money and yeah. there's nothing like um federal aid or anything yeah. like that. But they approve him. Yeah. They approve him and they give him money. They give him three talent three yeah. silver talents, which is a yeah, silver he, talent he more ba- than what he sold. Yeah, the book he basically for. says, like, I'm wicked smart, but I have no money. Yeah. But if you give me money to live here during I'll be my, the greatest student during ever, the semester much. yeah 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 um and then he meets this guy named sim or simmons um mm-hmm. that shows him around the university and mm-hmm. um yeah that's that's that and he signs up for classes um and he finally gets into the archives yeah but um, finds that he's not able to go into the part that he wants the, to go to the uh stacks yeah the stacks are like the giant library part yeah with most of the books but since he's not he's a uh, like he's not first an arch- year he's student. not a what an archivist or yeah an arcanist yeah arcanist. because he's like it's still a first year student he's not able mm-hmm. to go into the um big part of the library so they they bring him into this new this part and he mm-hmm. you can request books there and he requests books about the chandrian and he gets children's stories mm-hmm. and he requests stuff about like what ah crap what is it, it begins with an a Atur. Is it the Arter? Or something like A-T-U-R? that? A T U R? Yeah, the Atur. Um, and um one of the masters pulls him aside and then like um, you know, you should focus on your normal stuff, not focus on curiosities. Yeah, we got ten seconds. Um so that's pretty much where we are in the book. Well yeah. where I am in the book, at least <laughs> you're way ahead, but um Yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll be back with uh beer number five and um uh, Martin's topic. Welcome back to the podcast. Uh, we're going to get into beer number five here and then start my topic. Number five. Mambo number five. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. I don't remember that one. Oh, it's a sour. Yes, it's uh, actually the same maker, I think, of uh, 
the one of the ones that I got last time. Oh yeah, I think Hermit Thrush. Yeah, because of the uh, the Brattle. The Brattle, I don't remember. Hmm. Maybe not. Um, the, well, this is Brattle beer. It's a sour ale with local apples. It's five point two percent alcohol by volume. It's Hermit Thrush Brewery, um, and they are in Drummerston, Vermont, Brattleboro, Ver- Brattleboro, Vermont. Yeah, so they're pretty much in Vermont. <laughs> um, <laughs> is a nexus for culture and travelers. And okay, this is about the place. Pale malt with local cider apples, and then age it in oak. F- 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 fooders. <laughs> Let me see. F o u d r e s. Yeah. For see. most of a year, pale, light, and delicate, but complex. This sour offers a bone dry tart finish. Okay. It's nice funny. Uh, last night when I got the beer, Joel, he said like. Um, I was looking at the uh, evil twin, and uh, he was telling me about this new evil twin they had. That was eighteen percent. Oh my god! And I was just like, evil twins just got like yeah. ramped up percentages. Oh, yeah. It was just like, nah. Yeah. Nah. I like. I love evil twins low percent stuff. If I was like sleeping over and we could take as long as we want to drink it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I like some of evil twins low percent stuff is. Some of my favorite stuff in general. Yeah, you know, I gotta say, like the more the more we drink them, I feel like their higher ABV stuff is just like liquor. Yeah. But then their their lower ABV stuff is where like the taste really comes in. Yeah. Right. Um, All right. Beer number, beer number five. five. Ooh. It's not quite as sour as that one from last time. Right. It's still clenched. It is is still quite sour. Very tasty, though. Oh, I like it. I like it very much. Yes. Yes, I'm a big fan. Apple sour ale. Not getting so much apple. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I I need another sip. It just tastes like like a sweet sour. I'm getting the apple. I feel it on the side of my mm. tongue. Hang on. Or I taste it on the side of my tongue, I should say. Okay, I got it there. I took a big sip, yeah. though. <laughs> I feel like sometimes when when we describe these, I feel like I'm like some... some uh, stoner yeah <laughs> i'm getting it like on the side i of feel my... the apple man i'm getting on the sides of my tongue man yeah. just on the sides <laughs> i fucking feel the apple on the sides of my tongue <laughs> it's so stupid oh yeah it's great um yeah i mean it's nice it's a little carbonated like i think it's a little it's a little carbonated but yeah um i like it still very good though yeah 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 I do like it. Mm-hmm. I've realized there are a few. Uh, there's only a few sours now that I can really like pick out of a lineup. So many of them just blend together for me at this point. Mm-hmm. I think like Festina Pesh, I could still mm-hmm. pick out of a out oh, of a yeah. lineup because that was my first one. Uh, Petrus Aged Red, I oh, can pick yeah. out of, out of a lineup. But like those were both my some of my first sours but like everyone i have now seems to just blend in for me yeah i i think that evil twin one that we had last time the uh tropical yeah. super itchy mm-hmm. i could pick that out really yeah okay i don't think i could i think i already forgot it oh really yeah. i just remember I how liked sour it. it was i remember I feel terrible because I, I like a lot of these but oh yeah you know i just forget about it when we're done well why i went back and watched the video because i wanted to show hannah our oh, reactions okay. to it because um this is a story i'll tell you but um we had a sour mm-hmm. at a local brewery yeah. in uh buffalo um but hannah thought it was very sour and i thought it was extreme like like it, it was not nearly mm-hmm. as sour as this um but I was like, you have to see this one sour that Martin and I had. Yeah. Because it was like, <laughs> we drank it and we both went. <laughs> <laughs> it was good, though. It I, was. It was I'd very drink it good. Again. Yeah. I would drink it a ton yeah. of times after it. 
Um, yeah, but anyways, we will uh, hop into your topic. All right, so I hope we can get two segments out of this, but we'll see. Um, the question is simply, what is your favorite way to waste time? Oh. Yeah. Um, I'll let you think for a bit. Yeah, I think there's a couple of ways. Um, yeah, I, like me too. I have a few ways. Well, right now is reading. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I, I Jeez, read yeah. a whole lot to waste time. I, I, sp- I spend maybe between two and three hours reading that book every day. Yeah. I'm a slow reader, though. I like to go over certain places and well, i'm a really slow reader <laughs> no because like i do i i take my time when i read because mm-hmm. I, I like making sure that i'm getting everything and again yeah. like i didn't have a whole lot of time so like i listened mm-hmm. to the audiobook and i still feel like i didn't quite catch everything yeah um but anyways um i do a lot of music writing right now um because it's that time of the year where um marching band shows are starting mm-hmm. to be written and stuff like that but i won't i won't talk much about it but i i you can't spoil anything you might have one of the the students watch this and then um, they'll know it's a it's a big secret right yeah the show oh yeah um but yeah it, i mean like i pretty much just start doing a whole lot of that now and it's just a whole lot of yeah putting time in putting it on the computer mm-hmm. and um that and doing my D stuff and yeah. watching tv that's mainly what i do but yeah there's a lot more I could go into that, but right. What about um, you? How do you me, waste time? Like, so let's see. Reading the book, um, you know, if it was like five years ago, I'd say like playing video games. Yeah, every second I could. Same thing with me. But now I I watch a lot more TV and movies, and um, I watch a lot of YouTube. Mm-hmm. So in some ways, I still am. Like I watch some a whole lot year of YouTube. Girl. I watch a whole lot of YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube. A lot of it is, um, there are some YouTube channels that I have just watched for years and years at this point, like uh, a YouTube channel called Kind of Funny, which has a bunch of uh, guys on it talking about like nerd culture stuff and video games, and they have like a daily show where they talk about the news and stuff. Right. Watch that every single day. That's like an hour. Uh, I typically put it on like when I go to bed, and then I'll watch it laying in bed um it's also like tech news like um i do it at a school district so i'm i like computers and stuff and so i subscribe to a lot of those kind of channels there's this one channel called linus tech tips that uh they make these crazy videos like they made a petabyte file server (laughs) <laughs> and if you don't know what a petabyte is, that is a thousand terabytes, which is a million gigabytes. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, a million gigabyte size file server wow. they built because they shoot all their YouTube videos in 4K or 8K actually. Right. And they release close to two videos a day. So you wow. can imagine how much space that takes up. Yeah, they need, it's a lot of memory. Yeah, and so they set out to make a petabyte file server, and they did. Wow. Um, and they, like, vlog the whole thing. And for me, someone who loves computers like that, I'm just, like, I'm sitting, I'm sitting at my computer watching this, like, oh, yeah, that's God. crazy. Yeah, so. It's totally crazy. Um, so, yeah, I like watching YouTube for that. Uh, a lot of Photoshop tutorials and, and stuff like that. I'm a photographer as well, so is my girlfriend, Trisha. Um, so, I, I like I like learning. Yeah. I like learning a lot. So, I'm usually spending my time on YouTube learning new things, uh, watching. There's a photographer named Thomas Heaton who releases two videos a week, and he uh, travels the world as a landscape photographer and he vlogs his entire trips. Um, I'm addicted to his videos because they are exactly what I love to do. I love going out on a hike and taking pretty pictures. Yeah, me too. Um, so yeah, but not the pretty, I just like hiking. (laughs) Um, so yeah, that's what I like to do. I, I'd really say mainly YouTube. Yeah. I do a lot of YouTube browsing. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I watch game grumps a lot, which is a relatively popular Mm -hmm. YouTube channel. Um, and I say relatively is in the sense of like, they've got a lot, like a couple million subscribers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, 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 same kind of thing where it's like, I put them on before <laughs> bed and, um, I do like watching like a whole bunch of tutorial stuff. Like, um, a lot of the stuff with the Jeep, like we did the brakes. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. 
and I did the differential oils on Thanksgiving, I think it was. Mm -hmm. um, all that stuff I learned on, like, just made sure I knew what I was doing yeah. on YouTube. God, it's such a good learning yeah. tool now. Yeah, crazy. It's crazy. Um, yeah, so uh, did you have anything else you wanted to add? No, yeah. not right now. So I'm good. Uh, we'll come back with beer number six and uh, finish up <laughs> my topic there. All right. Welcome back <laughs> to the Wish Your Beer Podcast. We're going to go in for beer number six and the rest of Martin's topic, which will be sort of a roulette, roulette round yep. of like what I did before a couple episodes Rapid ago. Rapid fire questions. Good Lord, that was like a lot of episodes ago. Was it? No, I think it was only like second to last. Really? Yeah. I think it was like three or four episodes ago. Really? Yeah. Maybe. Anyways, we're going to dive into our last beer here. Yep. Last but Just, not yeast. Yep. <laughs> Which is an IPL. Indiana Pale Mike, what, Lager. what's an IPL? Indiana Pale Lager. Yeah. I believe. Uh, three times dry hopped. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jack Abbey's Craft Lagers. It's called Excess IPL. So Joel at the bottle shop asked me, have you ever had an IPL before? And I said, what's an IPL? And he said, well, I guess you've never had one. <laughs> okay. And I said, no, I haven't. So all the better to have it on the podcast. Cool. It's seven two point seven point two percent, and that's it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's all unfiltered so and unpasteurized. So three times be, dry hopped. So, yep. I wonder if that means it's bitter. Probably. I don't want to say it means it's bitter in case I'm wrong. Well, who cares if we're wrong? I would say that makes it bitter. Okay. Dry hopped. Yeah, I'd say that's bitter too. We had that. Uh, there was that one dry hopped sour that we had that was good. Look at that. That's a good pour. Let's compare. You got a little more than I do, but... Looks like quite a bit. Oh, wait. No, I'm also... Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty yeah. close. Nice job. Excess. All righty. Beer number six. Beer number six. The smell was so hoppy. It's actually not horrible to me. It's... It's not terrible to me either, but it's it, definitely it better. hit me really. It's definitely like punch you in the face hops. I think it's because we just ate more of the Lay's. I kind of cleared it out. Really? Yeah. For me, I think the Lay's are still hot in my mouth, so it's not as bad. No, it's definitely like punch you in the face with hops. Mm -hmm. Like 100%. Yeah. Wow. I think maybe I can handle it better now. Like, I feel like if... If we had this on, like, our first episode, oh, right. we would have been, been like, like what is this? This yeah. is awful. <laughs> but we've, we've had a lot more IPAs. We've been kind of eased into it, I think. Yeah. Because we've been, yeah, like... that's a good point. The first time we had a couple IPAs on the episode, mm -hmm. there were both IPAs that we liked that were right. very mild. Yeah. Building up to it. Right. It's not horrible. I got a drop no, I still, glasses. I still don't think I would drink it normally. Like, I wouldn't right. go out of my I'm way. I'm still not going to order an IPA anywhere, probably. <laughs> Boom sauce. Boom that, sauce. I would I would order that now. Yeah, I think I would too. That was good. All right. Uh, so like Mike said, for my topic, we're going to do a rapid fire round of questions like he did a few yeah. episodes ago. Yeah. Um, I think it'll be fun. Yeah. It's going to be fun to be on the other side yeah. because I, I was... Uh, you asked me last time. I was the, question in, the questionnaire. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. What was the last funny video you saw? Oh, my God. Um, I know mine. Did okay. you see the one with the kid running with the knife? And... No. Okay, I'll show you when we're okay. done. Um, I think the last funny video I saw was Game Grumps playing a game called uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. I've heard <laughs> I've heard about that. I want to go. I want to play it. I've yeah. heard it's absolutely insane. Oh, really? Yeah. The, like they're on like five episodes now, and each okay. episode it looks like just a movie. They've done one thing in five episodes. It's really crazy. <laughs> Does it? Okay. Yeah. Um, what do you do to get rid of stress? Um, I'm going to say probably the same answer to, uh, what's your favorite way to waste time? Yeah. Like when I come home from work, from work and I need to de-stress, I, I, I like put on a TV show. Yeah. Like I, I just, I mainly, out. I just like sitting down and yeah, like stretching and just relaxing. Yeah, me too. Uh, what is something you are obsessed with? 
fantasy <laughs> dungeons yeah. and dragons yeah, and that's yeah, my answer all that sort of stuff uh what is your who is your favorite entertainer comedian musician actor etc jim gaffigan okay uh i'm gonna say who am i gonna say favorite entertainer probably the guys from kind of funny oh yeah the youtube channel i mentioned i've been watching them jim for... gaffigan is coming to syracuse Ooh, is he like may 4th i think yeah it is. all right yeah. we should look at tickets I yeah like um the kind of funny guys um were at the uh entertainment website ign before they left and made kind of funny and so i have been kind of funny has been around for about almost three years mm -hmm. in january it'll be three years but before that they were at ign for a long long time right. so i've been watching them for probably close to a decade at this point yeah uh what's your f nope that's the one I asked last time. <laughs> Do you have any pets? What are their names? Uh, I've got three dogs. Well, three dogs are in the house right now, one of which is my brother's. But we've yep. got Giada, the English Bulldog, Da Vinci, a Puggle, and Artemis, the English Italian Mastiff. Okay. I have I've got, a... I've got uh, fish, too, if that counts. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, I have a King Charles Cavalier. His name is Ollie. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he doesn't like me, and I, <laughs> I don't like him all that much. Uh, he's my mother's favorite, so... Mm. Uh, where did you go last weekend, and what did you do? This la last weekend is in like this previous one or the yeah, one before yeah, it. Sure. Well, I went to Buffalo and I did yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, we already talked, talked about, about it. it. <laughs> what about you, though? Uh, I got uh, my Christmas tree, and I went to a, um, a micro brew brewery, and um, it's fun. Trish and I watched Lord of the Rings, and she had th that was her first time seeing it. Awesome. Uh, what are you going to do this weekend? Oh God, probably nothing. Okay. I've got nothing planned this weekend. All right. I'm going to go to Ithaca. Oh. I don't think we have anything planned. Fun. Um, I think uh, I need to study for some finals, and I think I'm going to have Trish help me with that. I'm going to read. That's I'm going uh, to catch right. up to you. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is something that is popular now that annoys you? Oh, God. Um, I have an answer already. Bath bombs. Bath bombs? Why? That's random. Why do they annoy me, or why? Yeah. Because, like... They're one of those things where it's like you toss it in the tub, but then you have to take a shower after. Okay. Yeah. Like, like I just don't get it. Like, it feels good it's in, one the, of those in things the tub, that, but then you have to wash it I don't off. even know how it feels good in the tub. Like, there's, like, literal glitter in those. Yeah. Some of them, at least. Right. Where it's like, I understand, like, the soapy ones, but, like, mm -hmm. when, it's, when it's one of those ones that just, like, adds color to the tub and it's fun. and Yeah. But it's like... Yeah, I gotta take a shower after this. Well, bath. some of them actually have like moisturizing things in them and stuff like that. I still don't get it. Okay, <laughs> I still don't. Um, for me, I gotta say country music. Oh, uh, really? I think, yeah. Country. I like I like certain country music because like mm. I don't like the like pop country that's like sort of yeah, popular now. Because I just don't. Um, I, I like folk music a lot, but I think that's just enough removed from country music that it's. There is a, bother me. There's a country a cappella group that I'm a huge fan really? of. Really? Huge you'll, fan. All right, you'll have to send me some, some yeah. videos. I think like country music, like the I think my tractor is sexy kind of country oh, music. Oh, yeah. Like, definitely. But that's like all I hear. Well, yeah. Really? Like, I have to show you the Bo Burnham uh, country song. I saw Bo Burnham live. And I, Did so you? So I probably heard that song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, one of, it was on one of his most recent specials. Okay. Um, what did you do on your last vacation? Oh my god, I think my last vacation was uh Cape Cod for uh yeah. Hannah's brother's wedding. Um we went there for Hannah's brother's wedding mm -hmm. and uh just kind of hung out for like the rest of the week. Went to the beach and um did some shopping and yeah, it was fun. Okay. Um my last vacation Ooh, my last vacation, I think, was uh, Ireland, England, and Scotland. Hmm. That was pretty nice. Yeah. Dude, yeah. you and I have got to take, like, just a week off and travel that around really New York. That would really be cool. That would like, be really just, cool. Like, let's do it in, like, the we spring. We could probably do it for pretty cheap. We should too. do it in, like, the spring. Yeah. Uh, what was the last time you worked incredibly hard? Every day. Yeah, yeah, at my, good answer. At my job. Good answer. No, like, um... So I work in a warehouse, mm -hmm. and um, I'm new to the place, but, like, my work ethic in general is just I work hard. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't – I'm not the kind of person that likes to yeah, sit around at work. why would you do anything work. else? Right. So, like, 
I don't know. Everybody there is really impressed with me. It's something mm-hmm. I'll tell you afterwards okay. because it's exciting news. But yeah, uh, mine was, of course, I will also say I work hard all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but the last time I remember actually like, like working so hard that I like need to go to sleep afterwards, it was um, one of my college classes. Uh, I think two years ago, um, the final project for it, I had done some of it, but I didn't really do it until the day before it was due. Oh no. Because I knew I was going to be able to do it in a day. Right. right. I was like, like I knew I was good. Um, and so I think for about eight hours, yeah, it was a visual, visual basic class, which is a coding language. Gotcha. Um, and we had to make like this sort of database program that mm-hmm. could hold information and stuff. And I made it about movies. Oh. Um, and for eight hours the day before it was due, I just like coded straight. I had earbuds in and no one bothered me and I didn't even eat. And for eight hours, I just coded. Wow. And when I was done, I just like got in the bed and went to sleep. <laughs> so I, uh, I think oh. that was the last time that I was like incredibly like hard work. worked like extremely hard to like that point i mm-hmm. think like um oh god i think like taking my father's deck apart like our old deck oh yeah like, i think was like, it at this house demolishing yeah demolishing okay. demolishing that was like yeah intense hmm. and uh yeah like the poles weren't cemented in so like all we had to do was like wiggle them a whole oh, lot really? and just cram them. <laughs> yeah wow. but then that, that was the Last time I remember something like that where it was like, oh, my God, I'm just mm-hmm. so freaking exhausted. Go on. Uh, what do you do when you hang out with your friends? And I'll answer this. I drink beer. Yeah. You are my friend. Yeah. You're, you're, <laughs> my, you're my best friend. Um, yeah. We hang out and drink beer. Yeah. Uh, what's the best thing about your work? I don't know. Do like the, pass? <laughs> half the people and half the people and the majority of the work, pretty much. Like okay. I like a lot of the people that work there. I dislike some of the people that work there, yeah. but for for reasons that are not like I don't not like mm-hmm. you as a person. I just yeah. yeah. Um but I like the work. I like doing the work and what about you? Uh, I just like being challenged. Um I get tasked with a lot of uh projects at work. Me too. Long projects, Me things too. that like, um, I do a lot of the kind of like special projects where my boss will just mention like, I'd really like to get this work in. I'll be like, all right, I'll do it. Yeah. There are yeah. people who handle like the more day to day things. And yeah. Since and I'm more open to handle like the things that like, I'll ask my I'll ask my boss Bill like, what's something you've like always wanted to have in the district but no one is ever available to like build it or hmm. work on it yeah and they'll be like oh i've always liked the idea of this and i'll be like all right you just I'm do it do that. that's awesome yeah. and it's very it's challenging a lot it usually i the projects i take on are usually like month hmm. like uh projects that take like the entire summer stuff it's like fun that. so I, I like being challenged uh if you had intro music what song would it be oh god um Mine would be the Lord of the Rings soundtrack. Really? Specifically the song Hope and Memory on the Lord of the Rings Return of the King soundtrack. Oh, my, I, I, I would like mine to be the Game of Thrones main theme. Okay. That would be pretty <laughs> sweet. That would be fun. Like, just kick in. Bum, bum, yeah. bum, 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 bum. <laughs> I like that. Um, what were you really into when you were a kid? Pokemon. Yeah? Yeah. I could also say Pokemon, but I think equally, I have three equal things. Bionicle, oh yeah, Pokemon were crazy and Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh yeah, I think. Oh I yeah, all three of those things equally definitely took up my life, but oh, at yeah. different times. But yeah. I was still a kid. Yeah. Uh, sorry, let me let me, me open we, my phone back. I think up. we got time for one more. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you could have any animal as a pet, what would it be? Um. <laughs> 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 we don't have enough time for this. The oh mics didn't god. pick that up. Oh my god! Somebody farted upstairs. It was amazing. <laughs> oh my god! 
<laughs> oh my god. Um, any god, kind of any cool like kind of pet, I would say. Um, I don't know, some kind of a dog. Really? I, I, I love the bulldog. Okay. Hey, Giada's awesome. Yeah, that's true. She's what amazing. about you? Um, if, if I could like domesticate quick, 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 anything, I'd say like a lion. All right. I cool. like lions. Cool. But right, if, it well, was, if it was gonna like eat my head off, then no. <laughs> we'll be back. Uh, welcome back. Uh, getting ready to outro here. Uh, we're gonna pick our favorite beer. And oh uh, god, then... I didn't even think about that. Yeah. But I think I got something in mind. Um. Yeah, I think tonight ours are probably the same. Yeah. And uh, it was just kind of like a this one snuck just ahead, like like because yeah. it was a very flat line right. of like how the beers. All the today. beers tonight were pretty good. Yeah. We, there wasn't one we absolutely didn't like, um, but there was one that pulled just a little bit ahead. That was the uh, McKellar. Yes. Um, Beer Geek Breakfast, and I gotta say, I love McKellar. I'm yeah. Happy this one tonight. Yeah. Um, stout brewed with coffee, seven point five percent alcohol. It was just like volume. it was it was light. While still being like um, smooth mm-hmm. and uh, it, it had Tasty. like that, it had like that black coffee taste of yeah. like like an iced but, black yeah. coffee. Yep. Yeah, I, like I thought it was very very good. Yeah, it was creamy. Um, all the other ones were great. The um, my runner up, I think I would probably put the sweet potato stout. In. Oh really? Yeah. The only my only issue was I've had a better sweet potato stout. Yeah. So I mean, I would say that this would be my runner-up, the uh, really? Hermit Thrush Brattle Beer. Okay. Yeah, I, I would say that's mine because it was it was a good amount of sour. The apple taste was there, and yeah, mm-hmm. I didn't get it right off the bat, but after I took okay. a couple of big sips, it was like, yeah, it's pretty apple. I liked that one too. Yeah. Uh, like I said, those sours are just starting to blend together for me. Yeah, a lot of them like, and I might need a break from them. I think. Yeah, unless it's like um, super special, mm-hmm. it's like. Uh, I'll tell you about this raspberry one that I had that I don't think was really a raspberry, but um, any, anyways, um, yeah, a lot of the sours are just kind of like the the light ones that are just like the this color pretty much this this right. color of a of a sour. Mm-hmm. Um, they all just kind of like blend together, like they're the yeah. same sour level, like they're a little sour, but. Yeah. yeah, I feel like it might be a good idea for us to maybe take a break from sours yeah. and come back to them in a few months. Maybe we should hit a couple of IPAs. Yeah, and then... I mean, there's definitely other styles of beer that we have not explored. Oh, definitely. And I think... We were talking about the uh, the oyster stout. Oh, yeah, I'm still worried about that. Oh, I'm worried about like it, but seafood, I, I think so... we should do it. I think we should do it. I don't like seafood if, either. you but... got to be the one to pick it up. All right. I don't think I would. All right, I I'll could ever it. pick it up myself. Awesome. Yeah, there's so many there's so many other styles of beers that we haven't explored that I think it would be a good idea to take a break from. Yeah, definitely. From sours, just because personally I'm starting to not appreciate them anymore. anymore. Oh, definitely. I'm right there um, with you. I think yeah. there's like again, like it's got to be a so very many. special sour in order mm-hmm. for it to like like that evil twin from last week. Yeah. I think that was a pretty special sour because mm-hmm. it was like extremely sour. Yeah. But then it was like. You still get a lot of taste from it. It, it wasn't oh, yeah. like drinking it and then just like you only got sourness. It was like mm-hmm. a ton of taste and sour. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Cool. Um, well. Uh, oh, did you give your one runner? Oh, yeah. You yes, did. I yeah, did. I know. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. We'll be back at you with ne- uh, next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting out that my lips are a little numb I'm a little at that point in the yeah. night. Uh, well, make sure you go on and uh, follow us on all of our social mm-hmm. medias. We're at WYWB Podcast on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and um, obviously you're on YouTube right now. Yes. So uh, be sure to leave a comment asking us a question. We'll answer it. Or if you have a beer to recommend, leave that as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to. I mean, like if it. you uh, if it's like close enough to a point where it's like. Uh, Maybe it's a beer that we can order or something, mm-hmm. and and have you it can order a lot of beer out. online, so. right? Yeah. Right, because um, like if we can't find it at our bottle shop or at now and later or whatever, um, yeah, like I bet we could. We'll we'll try to find it here, Carissa, to, to get it, and she'll do her best to to get it for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, cool. Yeah, and uh, so leave your comments there, like like it, and subscribe. Mm-hmm. Um, that's like. I think that's the most important thing is just liking and subscribing. Yeah. And yep. um, I mean, we started this just not caring in, in the world about whether or not we got followers or. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just nice. our excuse to hang out and drink beer. Yes, it is. 
Um, but yeah, follow us on all of our stuff, and uh, we'll be back at you next week. All right. All right. Bye. Bye.